Now let's take one more example, but this time we have the two pie charts. Chart number one basically shows the distribution of 12 million tons of crude oil transported through different modes over a specific period of time. Like by road it's 22%, by rail it's 9%, by pipeline it's 49%, by ship it's 9% and by air flight it's 11%. While the chart 2 shows the distribution of the cost of transporting this crude oil, the total cost was 30 million. So now by pipeline it's 65%, uh, by ship it's 10%, by air freight it's 7% and by road it's 6% and by rail it's 12%. So now let's analyze these two charts and answer the following questions. Now the next type of question is that the cost in rupees per ton of oil moved by rail and road happens to be roughly is a 3, 1.5, 4.5 and 8. So now let's see how to solve this question. First of all look at this pie chart. The rail and road contributes towards 9% and 22% respectively towards the volume transported that is 12 million tons. So in other words it contributes towards 31 percent of 12 million tons that is simply equals to 3.74. Now after this you look at the next pie chart over here the rail and road contributes altogether 18 percent towards the total cost of transportation that is 30 million. So that gives us 5.4. Now to find that the cost in rupees per ton of oil moved by rail and road we simply divide 5.4 by 3.74 that comes approximately equals to 1.5 hence our answer will be simply 2 that's 1.5. Now the next type of question is that from the chart given it appears the cheapest mode of transport is road, rail, pipeline or ship. When you simply look at the cost of transportation contributed by each of this rail, road, pipeline, ship over the volume contribu contributed by each of them that is rail, road, ship and pipeline you will find that the ratio of these two is basically lesser for the road so that means that road is basically the cheapest mode of transport because it's just contributing 6% while it's transporting 22% of the volume so it gives the least ratio hence that will be our answer Now let's look at the last type of question. It says if the cost per ton of transport by ship, air and road are represented by P, Q and R respectively, which of the following is true? In other words, I have to place them in some order. So first of all, we will find out cost per ton for each of this ship, air and road. For example, for the ship we will find out what is 10% of 30 million and then divide this by the 9% of 12 million. Similarly, for air we will find out 7% of 30 million and divide it by 11% of 12 million and for R we will simply find out, uh, simply find out 6% of 30 million and divide it by 22% of 12 million. And now we will see that where the value is the least. So we will mark them at the lowest cost per ton. And then we will arrange it according to the proper order. So now we find out that for ship, basically the cost per ton is the highest. While the cost per ton for the road is the lowest. So this will be our answer. That is, P is greater than Q is greater than R. That means cost per ton of ship is greater than cost per ton of air 
is greater than cos per ton of root. Well, with this we come to the end of this topic. Hope you understood how to compare out two charts and graphs and how to answer the questions based upon it. So thank you and goodbye.